Hi everyone, welcome to another episode of a fashion design tutorial where I'll be making this black evening dress from start to finish. But before we begin, I would love to thank my awesome subscribers for sending me DMs of their questions and lovely comments about my channel. I truly appreciate it. As well as feel free to follow these fabulous ladies on Instagram. I will link their page in the description box below. And I'd love to give a shout out to my girl Mi Hubi. She made her own beautiful version of the summery flirty dress and tagged me. Girl, you did such an awesome job. And if you're new to the channel or get inspired, I would love for you to tag me on Instagram of your beautiful creation because I love seeing your work and I love making new fashion friends on Instagram. So let's go back to the tutorial. We will start off by draping this tool fabric onto an adjustable mannequin at the center front, then pinning the sides of the mannequin to mold the fabric onto the bust. We then pin out the dot under the bust and line out the neckline with a half an inch seam allowance and measure down from the true neckline point down six and a half inches. Using your tape measure, you will then divide the circumference of your bust measurement in half two times to get the one quarter of the bust measurement and mark at the side seam along with a half an inch seam allowance. You will then measure down from the center front bust point down five inches to mark the waistline. Divide the waist measurement in half two times and mark the one quarter of the waist measurement. Connect the lines according to the desired design and don't forget to include the half an inch seam allowance. We will then cut off the access fabric along the draw lines. Then repeat for the back bodice. We will then mark the dots and cut off the access fabric. Take your novelty fashion fabric, plan its placement on the bodice, then pin as desired. Cut off any distracting access fabric. Don't forget to pin the dots on the fashion fabric as well. We are then going to French seam the tool fabric by sewing a quarter of an inch seam allowance at all edges. Trim them, then sew again a quarter of an inch, fold it in. This creates a neat finish. This is important, when sewing the dots closed, make sure to do so with the seam allowance facing outwards to avoid discomfort on the skin. The fashion fabric will cover the dot seam allowance. 
We will then fit the bodice back onto the mannequin. Pin the planned design. Then mark and cut. Instead of cutting straight into the textile design fabric, I decided to follow along the shapes of the textile. Don't forget to pin the dots and cut off its excess fabric. Now repeat the process at the back. Use the one half cutout to cut out the other half. In total, you will have four pieces. Before attaching the fashion fabric onto the tool bodice, we will have to sew the side seams together. Then sew the dots closed. When attaching the fashion fabric pieces onto the tool bodice, first place and pin and before sewing, try it on onto yourself or the mannequin to make sure it covers the goods. Then unpin and cut off any unwanted access fabric. We are then going to measure the armhole. Mine is 15 to 16 inches, so I plan to make the armhole 15 and a half inches. We are then going to take the tool fabric, fold it in half three times, then draft the one larger half of the armhole measurement, which is usually the front bodice. Then either trace or pin a curved shape and cut away from the pin half an inch for the seam allowance. We then measure down 23 to 25 inches for the sleeve length, then pin. Then from the end of the curve at the half an inch seam allowance, cut outwards to create flare. Then from the length measurement, from the half an inch seam allowance, cut a curve towards the flared point. Pin the fold on the sleeve cap and measure out the smaller armhole measurement, which is usually the back bodice armhole, plus half an inch seam allowance, then notch and cut down to blend the sleeve. Replicate the sleeve shape onto the fashion fabric. Then cut out the scalloped design according to the textile. Mm -hmm. 
Take a piece of the fashion fabric and cut off the cuffs around 7 to 8 inches by 6 inches. Then cut off the waistbands of 3 inches high. From 3 inches down, measure down the length of the skirt, which mine is 16 inches. Divide the fabric into two. Then fold and cut a circle skirt according to the waist measurement. I decided to cut three circle skirts that will be combined and gathered to create the desired flare. Now that I'm done cutting all my pieces, I will sew the fashion fabric onto the tool fabric and close the sleeve with a fringe seam for a cleaner finish. I then decided to cut another set of cuffs out of twill fabric for stability and lining and so closed the three sides of the cuff. Cut the two ends to avoid bulking and flip the cuffs inside out. When attaching the cuff to the sleeve, I will then gather the hem of the sleeve to fit the cuff. Pin, then sew closed. With every woven fabric, there is a weft, which is usually the yarns going from left to right and the wap going from up to down. In this case, we will be cutting the fabric on its bias for the maximum stretch in order to bind the neckline and create a finished look. For neatness, we sew one side of the binding on the inside of the garment. Then fold over and sandwich the neckline and sew down on the outer side of the garment. <music> 
to create a neat finish. Now we attach the waistband where we sandwich the bodice between the two cut waistbands. We then add the skirt. You can pleat your skirt onto the waistband but I just gathered it because I like the fullness it creates at the waistline. After attaching the skirt you may attach the sleeves also with French seams. By sewing the seam allowance at a quarter of an inch out, don't forget to use your pins. Then fold in the seam allowance. Then stitch a quarter of an inch in. After attaching the sleeves, you are now ready to finish off adding a 50cm zip at the centre back. And here's the finished look. So that's it guys, this is how you make a sweet, cute evening dress. Great for galas and even like a little, you know, red carpet moment. It, well, this is a novelty fabric. As you can see, it's 3D. So that's how you make it. Make sure to subscribe and follow me on Instagram. And then, you know, go with the flow. I'm happy with the outfit. I'm actually surprised at how it came out. It came out, actually, look, I have a few threads. And I'm gonna wear this out once quarantine is over, once COVID is over. So make sure to subscribe, leave a comment um, on the bottom, and yeah, thank you.